Yes, thank you so much for having me today. So excited to talk about Inside Out 2. I saw on social media that you said, you know, you've been a Pixar fan for the longest time. So I assume you saw the original movie. Uh, so what was your favorite thing about the original Inside Out? Oh my gosh, that's a great question. So yes, I have been a Pixar fan for my entire life. I saw it Inside Out um, when I was six years old on my sixth birthday in theaters. And I did have to leave the theater a little early because I was crying so hard. <laughs> Riley really hit home. Mm -hmm. um, Riley's been with me for my whole life. And I think my favorite thing about that movie was how relatable Riley was. I had just moved to New York City um, at that time. And so I was feeling all the same emotions that Riley was feeling and so to have someone there to look up to and relate with was so special and I just feel so lucky that I get to play such an iconic character. Awesome thank you for sharing that and I guess from that original movie do you have like a favorite scene or anything that kind of got the tears flowing you know how how was that experience? I think the scene that still gets me every time um, is the scene where she comes home after she tries to run away and she just breaks down crying and she says, you know, I don't want you to be mad, but I, I, I don't want to move, you know, I, I miss my old friends and I felt that so much at the time and I've moved around a lot and I know what that feels like and I just think that that is so relatable to everybody. Yeah, definitely. I think I saw that movie in theaters too. I don't even know around what time, but I, I do remember that I really fell in love with that movie too. So thank you for that. Um, and I guess going off of that, you know, I know you have, you've done some voice projects before. So do you have a specific, you know, get ready with me routine or anything you need to do to prepare to get into the sound booth? Yeah, so it varies for each character, but specifically for Riley, um, before each session, I watch the movie again. So I've watched Inside Out probably like 10 times or even 20 at this awesome. point. And I just, I notice new things each time about Riley. I listen to her voice to make sure that I'm staying authentic to her, um, but also bringing something new and unique to her teenage years. Um, I warm up my voice that so that I make sure I got all the cranky, uh, the crinklies out. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I go over my lines. They send me just my scenes um, like a day or two before. So I make sure I have all that. I will do like a quick meditation so that I'm all ready. Mm -hmm. And I go into the booth and everybody at Pixar is just so kind and loving and collaborative. Our amazing director, Kelsey Mann, is so fun and he just really puts everything into this project. And I, I think you guys are really going to see that. Awesome. I'm excited. And so how I've always kind of wondered this, you know, you're playing Riley in her teenage years. When you go into the sound booth, how do you go about like bringing that emotion uh, mm -hmm. that Riley portrays in the movie? You know, how do you go about that while you're behind a screen and, you know, just using your voice? It's a good question. Yeah. So in voiceover, you really have to have a very big imagination. You really have to create the space because, you know, when you're acting on uh, like when you're acting on film, the space is created for you. You have these beautiful sets, but you have to imagine it all. So I would imagine Riley. I was so lucky that I got to see all the characters. Um, I got to see all their like the artwork and things like that and what Riley as a teenager looks like. And every single line that she said was so relatable, something that I have thought, something that I have said before. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, for some of those scenes where she's really anxious, I would draw on my anxiety because I do have anxiety and it's something that I've struggled with for a long time. And, you know, I, I thought it was something that I should be ashamed of. But when I read Inside Out 2, I realized that, you know, I wasn't alone and that anxiety is something we all struggle with and it's something we don't have to be ashamed of. And so I, I would really use those moments where I felt anxious or joyful or sad and really pull on those moments and imagine okay, what was I thinking? What got me to this place? Um, and how do I portray that um, in Riley? Yeah, yeah, definitely sounds like it made it a lot easier and more, you know, enjoyable to be able to relate to your character. Um, and so going off of that, you know, were there any specific challenges that you've had on, that you had on this project? And how did you overcome those? Yeah, that's a good question. I think um, the biggest challenge was just making sure that I was staying authentic to Riley, um, but also bringing, you know, this new teenage energy to her because being a teenager can be tricky and challenging and I know what it's like. And me and Riley were both entering adolescence at the same time. So I felt like I, I was able to bring my own experiences to her. 
Um, and I think that's kind of like how I bridged that gap was just making sure that that I brought myself to it. <laughs> and I guess what was your favorite thing about playing Riley? And I know you can, pro I probably already know the answer to this, but do you think you'd be friends with her in real life? Oh my gosh, I'd 100% be friends with Riley. I feel like we are, have share so many qualities. We're both very anxious. We're both a little awkward. Um, but at the end of the day, we both love our friends. We both love to be silly and goofy. Some of my favorite scenes to record were the scenes with Brie and Grace. And I got to work with the girls who played Brie and Grace, Grace and Samaya. Yeah, yeah. And had such a special chemistry so that was a really special moment and I also loved doing the scenes where anxiety was driving because I felt like that was so relatable and it was so refreshing you know to see um, anxiety portrayed and we're giving a face to anxiety which I think is really important um, mm -hmm. so you know it gives us a way to deal with our emotions in, in a healthy and um, positive way mm -hmm. so those those were some of my favorite favorite uh, scenes to record <laughs> awesome and kind of going off of that, a fun question. Um, so when you found out you were playing Riley, was did you, you know, how did get how did you get into character? Did you create a playlist for her? Um, and I guess if so, you know, what do you think would be on Riley's current playlist and in Inside Out too? Oh, I love this so much. So yes, I do usually create playlists for all my characters that I play. For Riley, I screen recorded like the whole movie, like so oh. every part where she was talking. Um, and so I would listen to that over and over again. There's also um, a part in the new movie where she has this like specific band that she likes. Mm -hmm. And so I think um, taking today's music, I think she would really like Dua Lipa. I feel like she would be a Dua Lipa girl mm -hmm. or she probably would really like Olivia Rodrigo as well. Um, yeah, those I feel like those would be her two favorite things because those were the songs that I always listened to to get into okay. writing. <laughs> I feel like those are perfect artists, especially for your like teenage years too, like that teenage angst and like that pop stuff. I, I love that. I definitely agree. Cool. And from this role, was there anything you learned about your acting specifically that you plan to take into future roles? Yeah, I love this. So I think Riley really taught me that, you know, it's okay to not be perfect all the time. And I think that's something that I've struggled with in my personal life and also um, in my acting life is I always want to be perfect and I, I'm such a perfectionist. But she taught me that, you know, we're all beautiful and messy and there's good parts to us and there are bad parts to us but that's what makes us us and mistakes are what help us grow and so i think i've really been able to take that into my other acting projects is you know mm -hmm. learning from our mistakes and learning from the messiness because that's that's what makes us beautiful yeah, definitely <laughs> and i guess going off of that you know inside out 2 has a star-studded cast of other voice actors did did you get to work with them closely or did you pick up any you know lessons or tips from from working with them Yes, yeah, so um, because we record separately, the only people I've gotten to meet so far are the girls who play my best friends, yeah. Grace and Brie, um, but their names are Grace Lou and Samaya, and they're both so sweet. We had such amazing chemistry, and we got to record in the booth together. And then yeah. I also um, just did an interview with Tony Hale, who plays Fear, and he is so amazing. He is so kind, and I love him so much. So those are kind of like the only people I've met so far. Yeah. Um, but each person brings something so unique to the project and really puts their whole like all their energy into it and I think you really see that I did get to see the first 35 minutes and um it was so beautiful and everybody just embodies their character so perfectly mm -hmm. and I think I think that's been really special to see on screen so you guys you said you filmed separately so were you able to watch people in the sound booth or was it like on completely different days and times and sound booths for Inside Out 2, uh, we did record on like separate days, okay. um, except when they would bring uh, Brie, uh, sorry, Grace and Samaya, mm -hmm. and we would record together, but um, they were the only people I got to record with. Um, everybody else recorded like a day before me or, you know, a week after. Um, yeah. Everyone had their own like separate times and stuff. Yeah, makes sense. All right, awesome. And I think just the final question that I had for you, um, so I know you just said you've watched, you know, the first 35 minutes so far, but um just having that experience what's one thing you hope the audience takes away you know after going and watching Inside Out 2? Yes so I hope that when audiences watch Inside Out 2 they know that they aren't alone we are all you know experiencing these emotions on a daily basis and you know 
These emotions are beautiful and we're messy at times and we're imperfect and we make mistakes and that's okay. And I really hope people see that, you know, anxiety is there to help us mm -hmm. and she, you know, just wants what's best for us. Um, and so I, I hope people can really relate to that and know that, you know, we're not alone and we're all in this together. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. And yeah, thank you again for taking the time, Kensington. Really appreciate it. And congrats on the film. I can't wait to see it. Well, thank you so much for having me. I can't wait for you all to see it. <laughs>